we back. Another one's been a long time, Porch Family. Um, and obviously you see I have a special guest with me. <laughs> Dolly World Collection. In the building, Dolly World Collection. Woohoo! Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, so welcome back, sis. Welcome, What's welcome. up? Hey. So um, she's been on the um podcast last time. We said we were gonna bring her back when um she got her website up. And come to find out. It is up. Hey, <laughs> shout out Round of Flaws. Y'all can visit www.dollyworldcollection.com. The link is up. It has everything on there. Shipping is free right now. Go order your Kazami, your lashes, your wig services. The link is up. Go visit it. Nice, nice. So for, so for the people that don't know you and I'm seeing this for the first time, uh, could you tell them what you do? What is Dolly World Collection? Well, Dolly World Collection is a collection. Um, it's more feminine right now, but it's going to be unisex. Mm -hmm. uh, we have wigs. I do a lot of wig servicing, coloring wigs, making wigs. I also show, sell lash trays, um, mm -hmm. Kazami, which is my number one top product right now. Um, it's for um, discoloration on lips. So if you have any discoloration on lips, Take Kazami and you will be back in the game. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I was seeing that I was seeing that on Instagram the uh, the Kaz the Kazamis. Yes, like the, Kazami. Okay. Um, so they they make your lips pink again. Like yes. what? Is so what it does is it just reverses your color, your natural color. Mm -hmm. So from smoking and other things, where you use your lips. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it'll take away that discoloration. So yeah. it's, it's fully organic. Um, mm -hmm. It has organic um, oils in it, mm -hmm. coconut oils, nice. a different type, uh, different type of organic oils in it, but it's completely organic. The scrub that comes with it, you use two or three times a week with your fingertips at least 30 seconds, scrub for at least 30 seconds. And Kazemi, you'll use at least five times a day by just applying it like lip lip blow, mm -hmm. lip balm. Okay, okay. so um, Kazemi, cause, cause how much is that right now for the people that's like, oh, I might want to try it? Yes, yeah, so Kazemi is $15. The set is $15. It will last you at least a month, um, but you'll see results within a week. You hear that, folks? So um, go get your Kazemi on dollarworkcollection.com and you'll be set, you know what I'm saying? Get yourself right. But um, back to more things. So now I see you have added the lashes. Yes, lash rays. And so, what made you do the lashes? Like, what made you get? Into what girl doesn't like lashes? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, what girl doesn't like lashes? But I did want to do something different because I know a lot of people, um, they sell lashes but individually. So I wanted to do like a five pair thing mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. that type of price. So I, you have five pair lashes for ten dollars. Okay, okay, and so like. Uh, the feedback that you're getting from all your, your products. Because cause at first it was wigs. Yes. You know what I'm saying? At first it was wigs. Now you hit them with the, with the new route mm -hmm. of... They're going crazy. The, <laughs> they're going crazy. <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yes, they're going crazy. Did though. you did you expect that, though? Did you expect it? Like, you was like, okay, I do wigs. like But did you expect, like, one type of product to be doing as good as your main product? You know no, what I'm I didn't. I no. didn't expect it. I didn't even expect. Well, I knew I wanted to add other things to the collection, mm -hmm. but I didn't expect for it to be as big as it is now. Facts. Like, it, it's a top seller. So I didn't expect it to sell out like how it is. But nice. everybody talking about it. Bad. You okay. better go get your Kazami right now. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. And also, the third thing you done added was installs. Yes. You so I now. am finally doing installs. Um, I've been doing wig services for a while, just wig, coloring wigs, making wigs, but I never installed. So I finally took a leap out on faith. Yeah, okay. And it's going really good. So right now I'm doing $60 installs. Take advantage of that. So it was just something that made sense. You were like, I, let, let me just start yes. doing installs. I already make Yes. Because yeah, okay. I, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I always said I, I wasn't going to do it because I believe it was a fear of mine. Mm. So open would, up a yeah. little bit. Open up a little a bit fear, about that. It was a fear. It was a fear of mine. So I always, they used to always be like, "You gonna do installs?" I'm like, "No," because <laughs> I always felt like, you know, like, what if I mess up or what if I, you know, like, yeah. what if something goes wrong? But like, you just have to take that leap of faith because, like, now that I did it, it's like you could have been started a long could've time been ago. So yes, like I'm getting so much good feedback. A lot of people respect my work and and mm -hmm. really just give me the glory of like you know to keep me 
going and give me the confidence like yes you got it girl because i've been good that's, yeah, <laughs> that's what's up. so it makes the future look kind of like uh it makes the future kind of look good with with the whole you know dolly world yes. collection new things and everything right yes because i want it to be a one-stop shop so i feel like adding and installing is services is it's good because i want it to be where you can come in the shop and mm -hmm. everything you need is in my shop one stop shop one stop shop there you go there that you is go. the goal for me so so right now uh you in the beginning stage of installing yes very oh. beginning okay mm -hmm. dope, dope. okay to go to a new point um let's talk about your website yes um it going on there is an easy process how was how how was that easy process um i made it very simple mm -hmm. um very easy menu yeah. bar <laughs> you have your services you have the items on there straightforward um always scroll down on each item to read the description i i leave very important notes in the description um but very easy to go in and okay nice figure out what you want nice so are uh, you getting uh shipment from everywhere huh? <laughs> yes <Like. laughs> so i am I am out of the country now, so I have okay. did some 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 of out of the country <laughs> now, which is so exciting. Um, but I'm looking to expand more. I'm looking to is get more people all around the states, all around the country, mm -hmm. everywhere, worldwide. Okay, 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 definitely. Okay, so let me switch it up a little bit and uh, get more into a personal note on some things and helping some people out. You know what I'm saying? So, um. Let's talk about women being their own bosses. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's get on to that. And the fact of, what do you think about that? Let's go into that. What do you think about women being their own bosses in your, in your spotlight? Because it's a lot of that now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, and and there's some people that really can't handle that in some points. You know what I'm right. saying? So tell me on your judgment. Because it goes both ways. You can mm -hmm. flip and flop it and get this out from it. But tell me your side on women being their own bosses like right now taking um, over first and foremost i feel like right now is the stage where a lot of women is becoming their own bosses so i do want to shout out to all the women that's becoming a boss but yes i feel like everyone should be their own boss you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying i got you i got you <laughs> i feel like everyone should be their own boss everyone should find what they love to do find a hustle and just start from there now when <laughs> we gonna stop. Now, city girls, I'm gonna go city girls. <laughs> I do your thing. City girls era did make it seem like you know you can depend on you know yeah you know your mate or whatever, and that's fine. But I feel like at at at, at a point in your life, you should want your own. You know, you shouldn't have to depend on nobody. If mm -hmm. something falls breaks today, you know that you'll be good because you you held your own and you have your own. So I feel like. Everyone should be their own boss. Get your own money. Mm -hmm. Whatever extra is extra. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, <laughs> on that end, cause uh, some you bringing up that 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 era of the uh, you know city girls or whatever. So tell me um the point to where you think the word boss has been misconstrued. Like like no, that's not a boss. Like this is you know what I'm saying. Like you could call yourself a boss all day, but what what is it to you? What 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 is a, a boss, boss to you? I feel like a boss to me is a person who has a strong mind, mm -hmm. a person who leads and not follow. Mm -hmm. okay. I feel like a person who goes and get their own money, hustle, and not looking for a handout. Okay, for sure. For and sure, and also having handout. also having like a group of people following you in a great way. Like Absolutely, time. that and if you don't have it, that'll come along. But of course, like having that group behind you and. And making it seem like as a, such as a family, you know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. Like not I, a boss is not such as a person who just telling you what to do. Like mm -hmm. a boss feed the family, facts. tell the family how to move. You know what I'm saying? You know, help people and hustle. You know, get their own money and not looking for a handout. Facts. So. so you say, um, so what about the uh, to the to the to the little girls that's growing up and watching you grow mm -hmm. as yourself right now? You know what I'm saying? What would be um, cause you you lead by example. Mm -hmm. things you know what i'm saying so it'd be like what are some things you would tell them because while they're in this era you know what i'm saying because you grew up a kind of different yeah. era, you know what i'm saying so it'd be like in this type of era what would you what kind of advice the would first you first thing i would tell them in this era yeah 
don't take social media so serious. Mm. That will be a very, I, I feel like social media has taken over the world right now. Right. And right. a lot of little girls are on there, you know, seeing things and wanting to do this and wanting to do that and looking at themselves and comparing themselves, and that's just not what it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, sometimes it could be a facade or sometimes you don't even know how much work a person done put in to get to that point. So that would be my first thing. Like, right. don't take social media so serious. Because, uh, and um, I was having a conversation with uh, one of my boys or whatever, and we was talking about that, that instant gratification of... Mm -hmm. When you post a picture and you get all the likes, that makes you feel some type of way or good. You know what I'm saying? For that's a good for, point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's so yeah. it's so quick. Like you yeah. know, you know, you can post a picture yeah. and you know you'll get some likes or right. whatever. Even if you don't get as much as you want, right. you know, like certain likes is gonna make you, you know. So growing up, you know, right now with that going on, that that's kind of addiction. Yeah, it you is. You agree, like. It's definitely an addiction, and it's sad because I feel like a lot of people look for other people to accept them or mm -hmm. compliment them or, mm -hmm. you know, like we get on social media, post a picture, and we looking for the, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. looking for those likes, you looking for those comments, yeah. and then not just spend some time with yourself and get to know yourself, love yourself first, and that won't even matter. Like it, was, it won't even matter anymore. Yeah, you know, yeah, because uh. And you know they'll say that's cliche nowadays, cause uh, uh, you know due to the pandemic happening and then everybody went to a depression. So well, not everybody, but you know a majority, majority. then went through a depression or everything. So some people just take advice as just words. You know what I'm saying? Right now, right they now. can't really hear it. You know what I'm saying? So they just take it as words. And so, um, but. Going on a tangent on that, but yeah, but um, going to uh, stay and focus on your dream. I want to talk about how far you didn't came and how you're mm -hmm. still going and how you see more from where you was at. You know what I'm saying? So I want to talk about how like um, the future and the past. Talk about where you see yourself in a couple years from like right now, like. Where I see myself, um, I really see myself moving to a different area mm -hmm. to gain a different type of clientele. Um, to is that my just clientele. for, is that, is, is, is moving just for your business or is it more of a? It's j it's mostly for my business, but it's mostly for myself. Okay. I've been here my whole entire life, so I want right. to be able to move somewhere else and get that experience. So. Okay. Um, but. What was the <laughs> No, it's all good. It's all good. I was pretty much saying, like, where will you be at? Where you see yourself yes. at in a couple weeks? Yes. So I see myself, yes. Yeah, so I'm definitely moving so I can grow my clientele. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I'm really looking forward to building my shop. Like, I want a, a one-stop shop. I want, like, mm -hmm. a wig shop. But not only is it not going to be wigs, you can pick up your products. You can get your hair done. You can relax. Um, but that's my main goal right now. Mm -hmm. I just see myself growing my clientele, adding more things to the collection. Um, who knows what's next? Because <laughs> I just pulled these out of the world. <laughs> okay. um, but yeah, just adding more to my collection and just growing my clientele right now. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. Okay, so um, I also want to talk about something though. Not to go all over the place though, but to bring this up, um, can we talk about how uh, the younger, younger people are letting love this you know the whole because everything to me i feel like everything now is so over sexual mm -hmm. nowadays to where the point where we misconstrue what love is and all that and they're letting that get in the way of something they really need to do like a dream or something true, true. you know what i'm saying so what could you say to that but that, that to anybody back, that's lost though that goes back to getting to know yourself because mm. a lot of people are looking for different, you know, looking for love in different places and getting into different situations because mm -hmm. they haven't even had time to sit down and learn themselves and, and love themselves out. out. Yeah. So with that being not in the picture, now I'm looking for something else. Like I can't focus on my dream or whatever because I got this need and want of 
feel in love or mm-hmm. I want this or I want that. So I feel like first and foremost, it always starts with yourself. Like you got to get your know, know yourself first, know what you want to do. We'll know what you want to be in life. Mm-hmm. Like, what do you want out of life? If you just want a boyfriend and you don't care about nothing else, yeah. if that's what you sat down and you, that's what you come up with, then that's what you come up with. But I feel like that's the first, first thing. Firstly. Yeah. First so thing, definitely. Yeah, cause cause think about to what to what we just said about you know being a boss and all that. What if some people just want to be want that man to, you know, to lead yes. to be the you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. like like I want him to make money for the house. Some like, people that's okay, right? Right, because you got to understand some people were grew up mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying the man took care of the house. So mm-hmm. some some people think that I'm supposed to be a stay at home wife. Yeah, right, that's right, fine. That's right, fine. that's totally you, fine. Yeah, that's something that you want to do. Then that's what you want to do. And if you hook up with somebody who also wants that. Right, exactly. It all depends on what you and your mate come to a decision with. And that's so true. For me, I'm I'm a boss. <laughs> <laughs> I want my own. Like, I, I can't see myself being a stay-at-home wife. Okay. I'm a busybody. Like, I, I like to... I just want to get into so many different, like, as my journey grows, I want to get into so many different other business adventures. So mm-hmm. it's like, I can't see myself just being. So what what got you into hair? Like, what, you know, what made you be like, I'm a, I'm a do hair, you know? Um, well, <laughs> growing up, I did grow up with my grandmother, so. I had to work with what I had. <laughs> yeah, okay. Whether it was Vaseline, whether it was whatever I had. Yeah. I had. So I think that is that would in me as a child that always grew like I wanted to just be able to do hair. Um but just I also feel like the confidence with it. Like when you do your hair like females feel good when they do their hair and I just love that confidence that it brings with it. So that's why I wanted to do hair, like just to bring that joy upon somebody and myself too. So that's okay. Hey, I see you. See, you. so who's uh, a few inspirations that you can? Uh, um, you know, I don't. Re- I don't have a lot right now. I can say. Shout out to Arrogant Tay. He's a goat. <laughs> <laughs> He's a go, arrogant Tay, and I would say one other person, Paris Danielle. She's a YouTuber. Yeah. But that's pretty much it. I don't really do all yeah, that because yeah. I don't re- like. I just really try to be my inspiration to myself. You know facts, what I'm saying? I'm facts. too busy. I can't even look at nobody else to be, you know, to yeah. be inspired by because I'm too busy working. To uh, okay, so uh, can you talk about uh being original. Like how is that for you? Like being original. What you mean by being original? Okay, so like <laughs> your own, like how there's only one Dolly World collection. Yes, of course. You know what I'm saying? You should always want to be original. But, Every- you, but you know, like nowadays, but I wouldn't say that, but I'm going to put it as in like um, a lot of people think it's a quick way. You know how they see, okay, like at one time I seen you had got your content, like someone stolen, somebody mm-hmm. took your picture back yes. in the day. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I'm talking as in like they do. They actually they probably did hair. Mm-hmm. You feel me? They didn't do that. Yeah. But it was like let me post this. And, you know, talk about like how you feel on that. Um, I I feel I'm in between because I feel like you should always be original and put out your original work. But on the other hand, I feel like as because when you're in the beginning stages, mm-hmm, no mm-hmm. one really knows you. You know, that's what I'm true. So a lot of people do put other people work, uh, even though they do the same thing. They put other people work so they can get that crowd to come. Mm. So, so it's like I it's can't. Like a, okay. I see where you come from. Play your hate on the hustle, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But, so I'm I'm in between. In between yeah. with it, okay. In okay. between with it. I got you, I got you. So, yeah. um, Yeah, so I wanted to ask you that because that was, that's been on my mind yeah. in a little minute to ask you about that because that happened a long but time ago. But I was ago, really upset. You was upset about, she happened. was, like, listen, <laughs> listen, y'all, she was really <laughs> upset so about upset. that situation. <laughs> But it's all good. Everybody was like, man, was like, what? Somebody, else? you didn't yeah. see your bitches? I'm like, what? <laughs> no, uh, they stole my, it was. Oh, what did you do about it? Oh, nothing. nothing. <laughs> she, she just told people. Nothing, just, 
whine about it. Yeah, <laughs> that was it. No, yeah. You know, like, not too big of a deal. But yeah, um, back on another note. So, <laughs> so uh, Dolly World, thanks for coming through. Obviously, you know, um, getting more people to to you mm-hmm. is it overwhelming? Like all this, all because all the attention, all the products, you know, people just want this. And I know sometimes they'd be like, okay, good, you just want this. That's nothing. You know what I'm saying? It, like, it is overwhelming. Yeah. It's some days you get more rushed. than others, you know? Some days you just get rushed with like people. Yes, it's very overwhelming, but I have to just take a deep breath and realize the goal, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just mm-hmm. take it day by day. But it does get overwhelming sometimes, but. That comes with anything. Facts. You know? So what do you do when you rest? Because, hey, every time I come over or something <laughs> to your crib or whatever, <laughs> you got a wig in your hand, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you're always working. Like, that's something they don't know about you, though. Mm-hmm. But, like, you always working. Constantly. Like, constantly working. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Having a, She's having a conversation, like, sewing a wig. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the whole time. So yes. it's like... On your, why you just chilling? Because you'll be chilling working. Yes. <laughs> Real I'm talk. Chilling working. Yeah, so it'll be like, when you chilling, chilling, not when Right, nothing. there's no just chilling, laying back. You're chilling, working. Yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> so what you do, like, so just TV, any TV, like, we just, um, or it's like you I, have to work, you have to put a little bit of. For me, I'm I'm a thinker, so. Mm. I mm-hmm. I work to to stop the thoughts because <laughs> okay. I think a lot. So All if right. I if I'm not working, then I'm thinking about what can I be doing. So I okay. might as well work. But I have realized that I do need to spend a little bit more time for myself. So I'll read a book or I'll write. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes I'll catch up on some shows. Um, at nighttime, you know, I yeah. try to give myself a limit. Like okay, nine o'clock, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Ten o'clock, cut it off. You know. Okay. But other than that, I'll pick up something and start working. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I see that. So, um, talk about um, how you have plans for YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. I am coming to you. Um, yeah. YouTube. I am very excited and nervous at the same time. Okay. Um, but I do have plans coming to YouTube. I want my channel to be about everything. It's going to be about hair, about my life, um, everyday stuff. Just anything. I want it to be about everything, but I am coming to YouTube soon, so be on the lookout for that. Yeah, because we just give y'all a sneak peek of Dollywood, you know what I'm saying? So uh, she's honestly going to, you know, do her thing, so y'all could go to her channel coming yes. soon. More of me. More, more, of me. <laughs> more of her. So, like, when her YouTube come out, we'll get another interview going, you know what I'm saying? Bring her back again. So more accomplishments made. Um proud of you sis keep going you know doing your thing more proud yeah you (laughs) can't stop you know how we do um so and want to congratulate you for everything that you're doing you know for a milestone you know because uh just seeing everything is Mm -hmm. amazing you know you've been there yeah (laughs) you know so (laughs) just seeing is amazing because we talked it you know Mm -hmm. spoke it you Mm -hmm. spoke it into existence and you know and really just manifested everything it's just you know and just keep going so um to close it out um i just want to let you tell people or give them anything motivational about anything that they're doing Mm -hmm. and just you know just a little something yes first and foremost thank everyone for supporting me um it's really been a pleasure um meeting a lot of different people with dolly red collection um but my my thing that I want to say to everyone, um, I would say just stay focused. Don't beat yourself up. Have confidence. If you're doing something, just because you don't see the progression now, you will see it later if you just continue to do it. Consistency is the key. Confidence is the key. With those two things, you can win. Like You have to keep those two in order to win. See y'all later. Hey, and that's <laughs> it. Hey, man, and go support. visit my website, dollywearcollection.com. Worldwide shipping, free shipping right now. Hey. Go visit the link now. Hey, so uh, ladies and fellas, if you uh, you got a girl out there, you want, uh, you know what I'm saying, be impressed her or something, 
and one right. other thing this kazemi is also for men as well no it does not turn your lips pink it just reverses them back to your normal pink lip color so you are able to get this if you are a male and you smoke a lot yes this is the perfect <laughs> product for you <laughs> that eight hey, is just 15 dollars can't it's beat 15 it dollars. it's 15 dollars and that's and that's a wrap everybody we appreciate y'all listening um thanks again to dolly world for coming through giving game you know, what I'm saying? you know how that go and it's a wrap man we love y'all and see you next time yeah baby we'll see you <laughs> next time it's your boy danko he's hey, here too hey, hey. 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 We out here, supports family. Thank you very much for supporting. This Woo! is a beautiful podcast. Dollywood collection. Dollywood collection. Go check her out. We're gonna catch her on YouTube very soon. Yay. And when that happens, you stay tuned, baby. Ow! Oh, yes, we sir. out. We're out. Let's do this. If I ain't no care about you hating, please don't touch me. That's my life, though. I'm the type to make a play and boss her with the fam. You just tied to make some moves and punch.